So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Christmas sign that you'll be able to apply to any sign you'd like to make. So first we go to the text tool and type out Merry Christmas and zoom in. I click off and then with it selected I'm going to change the size to roughly 200 millimeters and then we can change the font. Now you can choose any font you'd like but you really want a chunky kind of font. It just makes the sign something like this or this. You don't want anything too thin otherwise the sign will become too weak. That's very chunky. I'm going to go with Calistoga. You can get this from Google Fonts, I think it is. Now, I'd like all the letters separate, but there's no way that we can like explode to have all the letters separate. The only thing we can do is click Weld. But there is a little trick that we can do, which is to space the letters out and then click Weld. So once we do that, all the letters are welded, but not together. So we can release the compound path. And then there we have each separate letter. But again, everything is exploded. So anything like an E, we would have to go and make a compound path. So that is all joined correctly. And the A, the same thing with that. That's everything. Now we just need to use the arrow keys on your keyboard or manually move them with your mouse. Well, to keep them all level, I would use the keys. So what we're looking for is to overlap the letters just enough, like a little bit there and a bit up there. just so we can join them up. If you can't see very well with it in outline score mode, you can click on engrave. You might get a better idea. Plus you'll also be able to see if your letters are looking correct, like the A's and the E's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move everything together. Once we have everything overlapping, everything's still separate. I am going to select each word and group them. And then I can center horizontally. So they're both in the center. Then you can space them vertically however you'd like the sign to look. Now, the Merry isn't joined to Christmas. So what we can do there is if we go to the shape panel, we can bring in some shapes. So I'm going to bring in a star. I'm going to look and go to the plant section and bring in a tree. And we're gonna go down to festival and down here we've got snowflakes and we've got some presents. There's lots more items. You could have a look and choose what you'd like. So now I'm going to place some of these shapes around the sign. Again, just so they intersect and help to join the sign up. just resizing and rescaling and we can turn some of them on an angle just anything so they look quite good I'm going to resize the star and we've got a connection on the left side a connection on the right side just for a bit of added strength 
going to put this star in the middle. We don't need the present. So there we have a tree, a snowflake, a star, everything centered. What we can do now, select everything and choose Unite. This joins everything up, as you can see. And then we can add some holes so you can hang the sign. So if we choose the circle, I'm going to choose about four millimeters. Then I'm going to go to outline and outline it by two. So the outside will be eight millimeters. Choose both of those and make compound path. So we have the sign, which is a compound path. We have the loopholes, which is another compound path. And we can place one on the M copy and paste and drop one on the Y. And then because the boat, they're all compound paths, we can choose everything and choose unite again, which joins everything up. And there we have a simple Merry Christmas sign. Now you can apply this to any sign you'd like to make. And with all the free shapes that you've got in the shape panel, you can build pretty much any sign that you'd like. And I have a tutorial on um, image tracing, so you, you'll be able to make lots more shapes with that too. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.